Greetings and welcome! My name is Munchie and today we're going to be reviewing the tank topper from You and Me, Petco brand, tank topper for 10 gallon tanks. So these types of setups are very popular over in the United Kingdom where they have terrariums for gerbils, but they do have a lot bigger styles and different types of styles. And so I want to review this today because I see a lot of people use them for hamsters, gerbils, and mice. And I just want to discuss with you guys what is and is not appropriate. So these kind of are a mixed bag depending on the species. So I hope this video encourages you out there and other to consider not using them if you have a specific species I talk about here and or consider upgrading to something else because this right here depending on species is kind of bare minimum and others it's just not appropriate so let me just start by saying how much it is online and what to expect so let's jump into it so online on Amazon it's currently being listed as $37.49 yes this is a Petco brand exclusive but they have been branching out to Amazon and doing Amazon type things but on Petco's website they list this cage as originally being $56.99 but on sale right now it's $37.49 so this is quite hefty of a price tag just for the tank topper because below as you see here this is a separate purchase this right here is a 10 gallon tank that's around $15 in pet stores and this is the tank that you don't buy in a kit this is the tank that you just get separate and that's it so on top of the price tag of $37.49 if you were to get a 10 gallon you're still adding more money to it so the price tag is just for the tank topper however we're discussing the whole thing because that's the way this is supposed to function it's supposed to function with the 10 gallon below so how much is it square inch wise so depending on what species of animals hamsters need at least in the United States 450 square inches with United Kingdoms being at least 620 square inches and for mice it is supposed to be for a pair of mice, bare minimum, a 10 gallon tank, but I really don't buy that. I've actually seen my mice do a lot better in 20 gallon tanks or more. But people still argue and say that it is appropriate for a pair of mice. To me, not so much but you guys can be the judge of that. I have mice in my rescue for those of you who are new here. Hello, I run my own rescue for mice, hamsters, and gerbils here in Washington State. I would recommend the 20 gallon long more so than this. And then for gerbils, because that's kind of where this whole aesthetic comes from is for the gerbils, because the gerbils like to have lots of bedding and that's why it is needed to have an upper space for them so that they can run on their wheel, they can do a bunch of activities up there, because they spend the majority of their time making burrows underground and they need that bedding. So this right here, for a gerbil owner, you would need to stack it all the way to the top. Not just a thin layer down here like I see a lot of people unfortunately do on rehoming sites. They buy gerbils, then they rehome them with like really small amounts of bedding. They are burrow animals, they really need it. So this right here, it is said that minimum, bare minimum for one gerbil is a 10 gallon tank. Gerbils, they need to be in pairs or more in the wild they have a colony going on so you need to make sure that when you have a gerbil that it has a sibling a brother or more or if you're introducing new gerbils please make sure to do the tank splitting method where they can slowly start to get used to each other's scent because an unfamiliar scent is a danger to the other gerbil so you want them to get around the same smell because they're gonna be inside of their own enclosures together for a while and split areas until you can safely introduce them together but for right now people are saying well for one gerbil a 10 gallon tank is fine so there's the information you have there I personally if you get a pair of gerbils 20 gallon long tanks are really the bare minimum and I don't like using them because there's no tank toppers for 20 gallon longs so a 40 gallon breeder tank is most recommended but let's just talk about the top part and what this feature comes with here let me read what the Amazon website says about it it says here convenient fully assembled design so that means that it's just ready to go right out of the box for you easy access top door entry now they're talking about this one right here this is the only way you can get into this enclosure unfortunately once you put this enclosure on that means you can't access the bottom parts unless you take it completely off right here as you see there is a clip this is to help kind of keep it secure and in place from falling off and from sliding and it has a very tight spring too to try to hold it into place there has been people saying that even though it is a very tight fit there has been escapees before when using this and so just be aware of that for those of you who do happen to have this style of enclosure right now we open this up 
It is kind of long, so you can stick more than one hand in here, but you can only access the top layer, like I said before. Now, unfortunately, I am reviewing this second hand, so I did not purchase this. This was from a rescue, but there is supposed to be another ledge and having this layer go up to that ledge area where you could put your food bowl on, you can put a hide on, but there's supposed to be another ledge inside of here. Just please disregard since I did not have it, but just pretend this area right here is going up to a ledge. But other than that, it doesn't come with anything else. It doesn't come with a water bottle. It does come with the walking areas down here, up there, and it's supposed to come with the ledge like mentioned. And what the website says about this specific cage says the you and me home experience expander creates double the living space for pets residing in 10 gallon tanks including rats rats no rats don't go in 10 gallon tanks wow i cannot believe they listed that please disregard that rats need really big tier style wire enclosures they really do need the space they get too big for a 10 gallon tank please do not do that but anyways rats mice, hamsters, and gerbils. Now that I've told you a little bit about the enclosure and what is advertised of it, let me just tell you why this is not going to be suitable for hamsters. And that's the majority of what people are buying this enclosure for instead of just buying it for gerbils. So when you walk into the pet store, of course, there are people that will tell you, oh yeah, 10 gallon tanks are fine. Just buy a tank topper with it and your hamster will love it. So hamsters, they have paddings on their feet. And so hamsters, they have very sensitive paddings, more so than mice and gerbils because gerbils paddings are very hard and sturdy, but they are susceptible to some foot inflammation and issues, but hamsters cannot be walking on wire grids. When you think of wire grids, just try putting your hand on a wire grid. Does that feel very good to you? Don't you feel like some of your flesh is kind of being pushed in between the spacing here? That is what your hamster's feet are gonna be walking on. And unfortunately, hamsters get very commonly what's known as bumblefoot, which is inflammation of the paws. So if this hamster is constantly walking on something like this, then they're gonna have this problem where you do need antibiotics from the vets and the vets will let you know, please do not place your hamster back inside the enclosure of which it first got the problem from from because it is uncomfortable and it's not a solid surface. So please don't buy this for hamsters. Hamsters need 450 square inches as minimum like stated before. This right here with the size, it's 10 by 20. So this is 200 square inches of floor space. And hamsters don't need vertical space. They need horizontal space. So you need to keep going that way instead of going up because hamsters, they do not need to be in the sky. So besides hamsters needing solid surfaces, they also need a good pile of bedding. This can definitely provide that with the height of this but just having this for a hamster is very dangerous and unsafe besides it being below the square inch minimum. You can get a 40 gallon breeder tank for your hamster or Syrian hamster because a lot of people don't understand dwarf hamsters and Syrian hamsters are way different and Syrians are way bigger than dwarf hamsters. You will need a bigger space because they have bigger needs. They are foragers that go on the surface and travel five to 10 miles a night foraging for food. And then during their sleeping hours, they go down to their dens and sleep there and store their food. But they're mostly gonna have a drive to keep up and keep going and if you have something as small as a 200 square inch enclosure that's not going to meet their needs they're going to get stressed and bored and if you start seeing bar biting which is mostly common in stressed hamsters then you will start seeing them gnawing at the bars this is indeed not normal behavior bar biting can break their teeth and if they get broken teeth with jagged edges it is very dangerous to their health so make sure guys that if you're getting a small animal please get the enclosure set up first and do the research first before getting the hamster or animal because if you get the animal first and then the enclosure that to me just shows me that you're not prepared first because you don't have something set up and this is just out on a whim because you're at the pet store buying your first animal or an animal in general without actually having a place for them to go now for gerbils this setup could be completely fine. Some gerbil owners still suggest having solid surface areas, even though they're not as susceptible to getting bumblefoot as hamsters. And just like what I said before, one gerbil can be in a 10 gallon, but they do have depression. A lot of small animals do have depression and people don't understand that if they are depressed, then their health is going to decline. They can get stressed from not being 
with another gerbil. Make sure if you have one gerbil in this, because the pet store doesn't tell you that you're supposed to have multiple gerbils together to maintain a happy and healthy life for your gerbil, then get yourself another gerbil and get yourself a bigger enclosure here. Now for a pair of mice to be placed inside of here or say one single male that is not neutered, then this can be okay for them. But you gotta make sure you fill up the space to provide a lot of hanging toys up here, provide a lot of digging areas down here, tunnels, you can put some KT tubes in here or just tubes in general for them to go inside of. You can put hammocks up here, small little hammocks that you probably will find at like Petco or PetSmart and they can do very well. You gotta fill up the space though. You can't really leave it so boring and plain because if they have nothing to climb on, nothing to do, they get very destructive. You don't also wanna see your mind bar biting at all. Same with gerbils. You don't want to see them biting. So make sure to provide a lot of stimulation inside of here. So my overall review of this is it will work for some, but it will definitely not work for hamsters in general. So please, this is not a good cage for hamsters. For a single gerbil, honestly, it's not even good for a single gerbil. I don't like that idea at all. And for mice, I say it is pretty acceptable, but I would personally like a 20 gallon long tank more so. So on screen now, I am comparing this type of enclosure to a 40 gallon breeder tank, which is more suitable even for mice, hamsters, and gerbils. All at the same time, you can fill in their needs. This is a great tank to be using, and it does look a lot bigger and better for what your animal needs. You can definitely fill up that space very easily, put in bigger wheels. Oh, that's another thing. Before we go, they do need wheels in here, so you can't put the wheel down below here, or you can put the wheel up above here. I can tell you right now, there's 10 inch wheels I have that cannot fit inside of here. So this, of course, is still not suitable for even Syrian hamsters because you don't want to have their backs curved. So I hope you guys appreciate the info provided today. Thank you so much for watching and just taking in all this information. If you liked today's video, hit like to show support. Comment down below on this type of enclosure if you've previously used this enclosure and or have been using this enclosure now. What are your thoughts on it? And thank you so much. If you want to subscribe and become a part of this Munchkin family of mine, please subscribe. And I'll see you in a next review video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.